Hey there, and welcome to Daily Challenges, an educational monster train series where we try to push score on the daily leaderboards. Today's daily looks fairly tame. Giving it a good old fashioned review, we've got Echo Right with Forgon Power. And because we have Stygian, you know that means that we're going to be chasing the spell weakness high rolls. We're going to be going for speed. Gotta go fast, as they say. Uh, the modifiers today are fairly lukewarm to do nothing, right? You get Cheater's Hand, okay, fine, I suppose. Maybe I can use this as a baby version of Permafrost. Then we get Bleeding Cash, which this is impactful, but it's not that bad, right? You lose one gold whenever a friendly unit takes damage. So we're going to try to play around that to the best of our ability, but it's not that big of a deal right? This isn't like you got this and then also Acid Rain or something. And then I actually think this is kind of a negative one, but they always treat it as positive. Two for one. Each time you draft a card, you get a second copy. Sometimes you want a second copy, but usually this is just going to fill up and bloat your deck. There are certain circumstances, especially in dailies, where this is very valuable, though. Basically, anything that gives spell weakness is really strong with this. They're all zero cost. We're happy to have copies. And then sometimes, like with Titan Sentry, you want a self-infused shark or something. Now, obviously, in a daily, I think that's pretty slow, but we do still have to win the runs. This is a kind of the quintessential question mark that I always struggle with on these dailies is a lot of folks tell me you want to go fast so you don't want slow mechanics things like titan sentry or endless eggs I think those are good examples of slow mechanics they build up very slowly I mean that goes without saying right you have to hatch the egg then you have to replay the egg then you have to hatch the egg again and this is like multiple turns and you're just you're not killing pre-relentless very quickly that way the one upside to them, however, is that they are secure winning lines that actually win the runs. And if you don't happen to hit the specific combination that Pre-Relentless insta-kills entire floors, oh no, you've lost your Covenant 1 run of Monster Train. Dang, right? And I, it's hard for me to not invest in lines that I know are going to survive 300 plus pack shards. I don't know. So this is, it, it's a balancing act, right? I suppose this is also why there are so many losses on the runs, right? Because a lot of people are chasing those, those interactions to go super fast and they make one miscalculation and lose. But I also suspect that there's other factors as well. It's, it's tough. I would like very much to, I keep thinking back on this series to the recent one where someone was just like, you just have to spell chain minus two the battering ram and then once you hit ring eight you get lightstone casing you make it free and then you get a return soul and then echo seedling and you one shot every boss with battering ram and i'm looking at this and i'm like how did you survive ring seven your floor is awful and i i have to assume there's just like ridiculous amounts of re-rolling or foreknowledge or like because they knew where the apex imp was or whatever so it's it's stuff like that that's really tricky i'm trying to counterbalance this i mean i've also gotten a lot of feedback in comments that it's not fun if i'm just constantly re-rolling combats to cheat to score out pre-relentless kills or something right I don't mind too terribly much in, if I, as long as I keep it balanced, right? I'm not going to re-roll the whole run. I'm not going to re-roll the whole combat, but you know, there are some examples where, oh no, I needed to play this combat a little differently in order to avoid six damage. We're chasing score here, right? And I guess you just, we just need to do that in order to chase score, right? I need, I need to not it's going to be difficult in order to actually place in most of these top tens if I don't do stuff like that. And if I have a hard time interpreting exactly what you all, the viewers, want, do you want me to place? Or do you want me to just try this normally and not re-roll any combat? Because if I if it's that, I'm going to be a lot safer. I'm pretty much never getting the top 10, right? So it's, it's just difficult. So I guess I'm open to opinions, what people think about the series so far, whether they want it to 
focus more on trying to place or if they wanted to focus more on just playing a random daily challenge and winning without re-rolling and stuff. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I was really kind of thrown for a loop by that comment getting a lot of uh, a lot of thumbs ups last time. So I wanted to bring it up as a possibility. I'm, I'm really honestly happy to approach this either way. My thought originally on this series was that I would be looking at this and just basically trying to, within reason, reach the top 10. That was my personal goal on it. And within reason was like, all right, I'm willing to re-roll a Daedalus a couple times, but I'm not going to re-roll him like 10 times or something. But if I see a cool little, ooh, my draw order could maybe lean to a kill here, then sure, do that, right? That's a cool kind of approach. And it shows some kind of growth and puzzling, right? It's sort of like a puzzle, but... I don't know. The one thing about daily challenges, I suppose, is that everyone play, is playing these differently. Everyone is approaching these from a different angle. And some people really want that big number, and some people just want to be like, hooray, I played a Covenant one run of Monster Train, you know? Anyway, I don't have terribly much else to add. Our previous run, we got a number six placement, hooray, a plus ten in piercing spell chain, forever consumed, that I made four copies of, did pretty good. We had an eel gorgon floor with first hell pact, so that ended up working out well. Stolgard held down against fragile, though I suppose... The way it interacted was not how I expected. He didn't absorb the fragile, he just ignored it. So, kind of cheeky in that respect. Yeah, not much else to add. So, I suppose, you know, give me your thoughts. But otherwise, we'll play some dailies. So, let's get in. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's see what the heck this ends up giving us. I mean, it's probably, given the scores, some kind of spell weakness business, but we'll see. We'll see. Alright, yeah, I mean, they start us with Energy Siphon, so pretty strong opener there. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well today. I'm doing just fine. Nothing too crazy to report. I am so far behind in recording. I have so much to do, so hopefully this will not be a crisis. It's always tough when I have a lot of recording to do to be like, all right, I need to record like six episodes. But if those episodes end up being very difficult and very exhausting, I will not make it through those six episodes. And then that's how you kind of fall behind in your recording. So we're just going to hope that the runs are normal, right? I love normal runs. Great. Anyway, as before, we are XL Wormkin, XL Stygian. It's a fine clan combo. It has the tools for a pre-relentless very quickly with Energy Siphon. We have Double Barrel Daedalus, Spell Shield Fell, and Chase Seraph with e Echo Infusion, Energy Siphon, and Soul... In what is it? Soul Siphon? Another Siphon, yeah. Energy Siphon and Soul Siphon. Cool. None of these are terribly impactful other than Energy Siphon. We're going to be looking for big spell damage, so things like Crypt Builder or Titan's Gratitude or, heck, I could do it with Crystallis. You've got a lot of tools. We're looking for big damage hits. Cheater's Hand, Bleeding Cash, two for one, no big deals. All right, Temples are Ring 2, Ring 5, Ring 6, and Ring 8. Pretty good selection, four Temples. We are going to want to use every single pack shard this game has to offer. So we're probably holding on to most of these trained stewards, given that we do not have a unit starter. The dupe on Ring 8 is on the steel side. Nothing too crazy, though. Trinket Shop with Vortex and Money on 7 competes with a Magic Shop with a Cave, no Steel. Steel and Magic on 6, Steel Shop having the Vortex, cool. Random Dupe on 5 with Money competes with a Magic Shop, or rather, that's not a Magic Shop, that's a Steel Shop. There is no Magic Shop on this floor, got it. No Vortex either. And then Steel and Magic on 4, Magic side has the Vortex. So Steel side has a Wormkin banner, so that's cool. Nothing crazy here, so no doubles, I don't think. Yeah, nothing wild on Ring 3. So we do get a lot of banner selections, double Wormkin and double Stygian. The Stygian banners show up on the Magic side on 2, the Wormkin banner on the Steel side on 2. Meow. Now... I am inclined to look for double stacks early. We want to buff up these energy siphons, so we'll plan on that, I think. First, hell-packed sigiled seaweed. 
Sigiled Seaweed is probably more impactful, just generally speaking. First Hell Pact has exactly two cards in this clan combo, unless we roll into some specific events. So I don't like the odds of us seeing those. Those are also both rare cards. So let's take the Seaweed. Take the money, of course. We're going to go in. Repeater. Do I want Repeater? I like Shellsmith a little more, I think, here. It's tough. Repeater is fine, maybe. Ugh, I was kind of hoping for a Marsh Lord play here. What is the least likely to have me take damage, is the thing. That's a really difficult question. I can cycle Soul Siphon, which makes Echo Breaks pretty powerful, but that's not terribly impactful otherwise. Shellsmith feels stronger. I'm not sure. I think Shellsmith feels stronger. We're going to go for it. That's a tough call, actually. Mark of Invasion. We click every trial, so we'll do our best. That's pretty much it. Ugh, Cheater's Hand opener. So I can... Yeah, I can do this. I want to kick back a Train Steward here. We go Echo Right, Train Steward. We Etch, and we kill one of these dudes, and then we work on bottom. This is weird. I mean, I earn more points. Hmm. This is a tricky combat, right? It's not the energy siphon I want. I definitely am playing both. I can only play one unit. So if I'm being honest here, I'm going to hit the double echo infusions for sure. I pop two. I could stop one damage or I could get the money. In the end, I think... Getting the money is more impactful. I like money a lot, as it turns out. Hmm. I am going to kick back this train steward, I think. Who do I ping here? Great question. Do the things we know we need to do first. All right, cool. We get a lot of health. Fine. I'm going to go ahead and energy siphon this guy on middle. I might need to pop him, but... So basically the question becomes, do I save one health or do I get 50 gold? And I think I'm going to want 50 gold here. So we'll take the one damage. Okay. Again, I think we're going to kick back a foregone power here. I'm going to pop the guy in back for sure. I'll take another one. It's fine. We go train steward, train steward down below. And I foregone power in the middle. So we take another one damage. It's not that bad. Can I win downstairs somehow? Maybe. Maybe? Let's kick the foregone power here. So if I do... One ping, one ping, health, orgon power. Okay, I take one damage. Now I'm making a trade here. My goal on this is to try to win on middle somehow. Is that possible? Pos maybe? Maybe. I think it is possible. You go... Whoa, chill out, chill out. Alright, get rid of an energy siphon here, yes. We go train steward. Echo infusion, but we're going to go energy siphon, echo break, echo infusion. Ah, oh, we're just off. I don't know. It's a bummer, but I mean... Okay, well, it doesn't matter now. Just press end turn. All right. I don't know. It's not a very good combat for us, but three damage taken. I could maybe have done better there. It's very hard to predict. I'm going to go ahead and 
force contamination is pretty cool, but I don't think so. I think Bounding Echoes is better here, although I do like Shelter. Shelter is maybe how you actually win some of these combats coming up, right? Yeah, it's more impactful. Let's take it. Fine. Ice Tornado maybe works. Titan's Gratitude. What's the better play here? I don't really want discards if I can avoid them. Crystallis is what I would normally take in a Monster Train run, but perhaps Ice Tornado is better? Is it? I don't know. That's a tough call. Hmm. This is very difficult. I don't think Ice Tornado is that good, even in this particular circumstance. It's too expensive, it's hard to play, and it's un unpredictable. It's not like Ice Storm, right? Where if you hit five times, you're still pretty likely to hit all the things you want to hit. Also, it's one cost. Ice Storm pretty much just, just absolutely dunks on Ice Tornado in so many ways. More hits, cheaper. The Permafrost does not even remotely make up for it. It's kind of funny. I guess the starting 20 damage is something, but it's still pretty bad. Titan's Gratitude is attuned, which I like. But we're going to run into the circumstance where I'm discarding a bunch of stuff. Crystallis is my favorite here, for sure. But has the lowest ceiling. Let's go ahead and take Titan's Gratitude. 10 and Piercing plus 30 on this can do some work. I think we're okay here. We'll click that. That'll be our pick. I'm going to go ahead and look for Double Stack. I think Magic Shop is correct here. Temple will take everything. Spell Chain Intrinsic. Okay, I mean, I'll Intrinsic the Soul Siphon, I think. That's probably fine. Spell Chain... Not sure. Stygian Banner has a Siren. Okay, sure. Siren, it's also fine because I can self-infuse the Siren. Remove Consume. 20 Consume, minus one. All right, 20 Consume goes into an Echo Break. Yes. Minus one goes into a Shelter. Yes. Remove Consume. I don't think so. We're going to re-roll here. Holdover. Holdover Energy Siphon is pretty good. 20 Consume another Echo Break. You could 20 Consume a Titan's Gratitude, but that's kind of weak. Minus one, the other Shelter here. This is weird because I know how I would approach this in a Covenant 25, and it's definitely not what I'm going to do here. I'd be holding over an Echo Infusion. I would have taken the Bounding Echoes, right? This run looks very different already if I'm playing this normally. Holdover Energy Siphon seems better. I think so. I think so. I think so. Now, I probably don't need to do too terribly much here, right? I'm going to self-infuse this Siren pretty much off the bat, which is part of why I picked it. The Spell Chain, I guess this is double stack in a sort of way, right? I mean, that's true. Just, it's kind of like cheap double stack. Cheap. I mean, it's not cheap. It's actually expensive double stack, but it is available, which is relevant. Interesting. Okay, I mean, I guess that works, right? Sure. I suppose we get there. Do I actually need to keep all my train stewards? I think I do. I'm going to need to draft something here. I mean, we have to get through... Good grief. 60 Shard Ring 2. I do not feel strong enough for this. I have to take this unit because trials. I don't know. This is a spicy one, huh? Kick back a train steward here. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did before. I want to play bottom floor, but is that even viable? Maybe? I don't know. This is... 
It's tough, alright? We'll put it that way. Put a train steward upstairs for now, and then we shoot a guy and hope for the best. I don't know. This looks rough. I gotta be real with you. Okay, we are going to have to energy siphon, and then we can kill this dude. It's true. But I give. I have to give up the collector to do that? It's weird, but true. Alright, let's see. So, I think the kickback is going to be a train steward here. We play one other one up here. I should ping... If I play it... He has Frostbite in front, so we ping in back here. Right, so we go... Pop one, echo break, finish it. I'm going to come downstairs. We're going to click shelter here and then health up. And we sit on this. Okay. Let's play cards. Energy siphon starts. Health is good. I should attempt to... Alright, we do get through this, it looks like. Yeah. Alright. Crazy. It didn't feel good at first, but we did get the bottom floor kill, and I think we got everything here except for the collector, which is good for score, so we'll take it. Hosting Kin is a card I don't mind adding here. It's a good etch for Shellsmith. Yes, it's purple. Sure, why not? Flash Freeze? I don't want to add these cards, though. This is a card I would normally get here, but I don't think it's correct. I'm just going to skip this, I think. Ice Tornado, Crystallis. I already have the investments. Oh. How was I supposed to know there was an Offering Monument Infinite? Ugh, oh, come on. Monster Train. I... This is the point in a run... Where, of course we take it. This is the point in the run where the normal players who play this and go for high scores reset their entire run in order to be like, ah, yes, I just hold over spell chain, take bounding echoes, and win this run immediately with a turn one kill on every single future boss. Yep, cool, great, fantastic. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. There's no way I could have anticipated that this specific infinite would show up. Ugh, and I'm not prepared for it at all. Yeah, the holdover spell chain is in the wrong card. I'm going to go look at the, the horde here. I think it's better. I don't know what this dupe is going to be for me. It's There's nothing I want to dupe here. So, sure, we'll go look, see what we run into. Horde today says Decay Decoy. That's not going to help. I'm going to take Vapor Funnel because this will help. Horde in the middle says Tempered Talisman is pretty good. We'll take that. Yes. It's not amazing, but it does improve a lot of things. We get a 40 damage Titan's Gratitude. Well, it adds up. Shark, Titan, Sentry, Icy Silophyte. No, I don't think we need these things here, right? We're okay. I normally would take Shark, but again, it's too slow for this, and I need to play bottom floor, so. Spell Rail Spike or Monster Rail Spike? Interesting. Interesting. It's not a Monster Rail Spike, it's a Spell Rail Spike. And I think I'm going to put one of these into Titan's this Titan's Gratitude. We're burning one of them so I can play the other one more regularly, I think. Sure. This will maybe get a pre-relentless on Daedalus, which I like. That's our goal. Our goal is to spell weakness and then connect that 140 with him and purge it and insta-kill boss at the same time. Okay. Kick back. How interesting. This train steward here, we're going to play... Can I get this with just Offering Monument, Offering Monument? Huh. 
echo right here. And then you stole siphon. We just draw cards here. I would figures I would draw all four of my train stewards here. All right, energy siphon, energy siphon. Play the echo infusion here. It's cool. Can I get the turn one? Almost. Almost have it. All right. We're going to draw more. We've done our best, I think, on the turn one opportunity here. Let's put the siren down now. We're going to now incant to the best of our ability and then shoot this boss. Now there's a draw order here that definitely gets that kill, but I had to play the big energy siphon, or not the big energy siphon, there, I had to do this. In a, I had to play a card to get past the train stewards, which is a real bummer, right? That's the thing that gets you here. Is I have to. All right, so we play everything out. Of course, we're gonna in, we're gonna go this stuff. You then soul siphon. We get the armor here. I can pop this guy in front, which is fantastic. It opens up. But this turn, this right here is the bad point because I, I have no spell weakness. But I must keep playing. And now it's just, it's just a bummer, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, fine. All right, I do want to see if I can... I want to play the Siren here as a payout on this now. I want to try this. Oh, we run out of zero costers. I don't hit either the Shelter or the Hosting Kin in time. This will have to do, I think. Okay. Wish to draw cards. Can I... Is there ever a top floor kill for him here? Maybe. Possibly. A lot of stuff in the way of this infinite right now, unfortunately, but that's okay. These train stewards are annoying. I want to avoid this one damage coming. Ah, Vapor Funnel! I didn't have to spend that. I'm a fool. Yeah, I am a fool here. Alright, we're going to lose our friend, and that's going to have to be okay. Yeah. Vapor Funnel handles this. Don't go too crazy. It's actually free. Alright. I think I can get the Pre-Relentless pretty close to on this turn here. If we just go really hard. Man, we come close. Oh, I should have done that differently. I'm all, all behind. Okay. Ah, bummer. Can I kill him here? No? Alright. This is weird, but I think we can do this. So, what is, what is the way? This is interesting to me. I like this puzzle mechanic. So even, I like figuring this out. I think there is a way to get a pre-relentless on him. Now, I unfortunately, I guess I made the mistake of not removing my train stewards. Sure, so sure, fine. It's a bit of a bummer. Now, yeah, I do think we want to pop in front. We keep playing Titan's Gratitudes here. The Ember must be spent eventually on. Yeah, so I think the misplay is actually putting the health in front, right? 
Yeah, because you don't draw as fast. Okay, so that's the trick. We need to spread that health around a little bit to draw one extra card here. Okay. And I think that potentially puts us in a much better position. Okay, so same as before. Nothing too crazy. Double offering monuments. We draw. First health goes in front. Cool. We pop here. Makes sense. I must sacrifice the Titan's Gratitude. We know... Energy Siphon here. The second health goes in middle here. This is done intentionally. I then must Frostbite. I then must Frostbite again. Now I get Siren out. And I can play big cards and then puncture him for a good chunk here. It's a pretty good opener. It's also a decent amount of frostbite on him. We're now going to basically heavily invest in anything related to energy siphon on the boss. We're just going to let everything else walk by because vapor funnel exists. My sole goal here is to load this man up. And I guess I'm playing some train stewards because why not? Sure. Fine. Oh no, I lose some money here, but it's okay. Vapor Funnel does heavy lifting. Great work. Okay, alright. Energy Siphon. Energy Siphon. We do not have a kill yet. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. I guess I sack the train steward. I want to redraw my better spells faster. Okay, so now I should roll into a big blast here. Yeah, here we go. All right. Cool. I think we get this kill now. Oh, yeah. Yep, we have it. Bam. All right. So it's not a glorious pre-relentless, but it is a four turn. We'll take it. Okay. We will take it. Ice Empire is a significantly better card here for a lot of reasons. We're going to grab it. Yes, I like Ice Empire a lot. Okay. First of Kin, Kin Host Vessel, Bog Chrysalis. No, not taking these. We already have the stuff we want. Drawing cards is good. It is better to draw cards, is it not? I do need to, you know, take Ember at some point, I think. I think Ember is valuable here. I might be able to not infinite. Obviously, I've missed the infinite here, but I might be able to weaponize these monuments into a turn one setup for a kill. So you don't self-infuse them. You go like train stewards into each one for 15 additional health, right? And Ember's pretty good for that, I think. Interestingly. Let's me play more spells. I'm going to go Ember here because we have that prop up in terms of card draw. I want to go to Steel Shops because I do desperately want to get plus 25s for them. So that's cool. No plus 25s in that shop. Bummer. Keeper of Echoes, Kinhos Carapace. No, I don't want these here. No. Dark Forge says you got a repeater. Yeah, this is a repeater is now a free incant, which I like. Endless in one of these guys, they come back with one health. It's not very reliably good, but let's re-roll this. Come off of this nonsense with Echo Stone. Gross. And quick. I didn't even see a multi-strike. I have to keep these train stewards to infuse them, so that's garbage. What a terrible floor. I guess I'm going to take a battle stone. Sure, you know, it's fine. Alright, whatever. That's abysmal. I can't remove the, these bad things. Foregone powers are rough, but are also free, which is pretty decent. I do think I want to cut some of them. So we'll do that. Do I cut a second one here? Probably, actually. 
Probably, actually. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll move on. Okay. Multi-strike. We take everything. Now, I would like to play top floor. I think I'm going to have to play bottom floor. So, let's kick the echo break here. We're going to go echo right, siren, offering monument. We're going to do the thing that we can do. We pop here. I get health. I shoot the man in the back, which is pretty cool. I generate armor here, and that's all right. Okay, let's kick a train steward for now. I can get this collector with a foregone power upstairs, so I think that's pretty neat. I suppose I will just soul siphon on another floor. It's fine. Yeah, all right. We get the energy siphon here. Energy siphon. <laughs> Ice Empire. Now, I then go Titan's Gratitude, which is cool. And I foregone power for money. Fine. Okay, how am I not taking a bunch of damage upstairs? I think I can actually pop that dude. So, the play is I need to hosting kin and then ice empire him and he's gone. Great. Energy siphon, energy siphon. We blow a man up. And that's pretty decent, I think. We continue to incant. Sure keep kicking the bad stuff. We actually do get to drop our other offering monument here, which is neat. I'm a fan of that. I shoot the guy in the back. Cool. We're going to go ahead and continue incanting here because it guarantees that I am able to actually... Ugh, gross. So much garbage in this deck that I want to get rid of. It lets me win Relentless, is the thing, with this 160 damage guy in the back, so that's pretty cool. Alright, we're going to take health here. I want to try to incant to the best of my ability, so... How do I do that? I guess I Soul Siphon here, and then I Self Ping... I don't know if that was correct, but we get rid of the train stewards. We do win impressively, so I'm not actually upset about this at all. Eh, fair enough. Get armor. I want to go ahead and I did this in the wrong order, but it doesn't matter. Sure, we went on bottom floor because our guy in the back is doing 210 damage. Good enough. All right. Great. Firestone housing. Sure, we'll take it. Seems good. Return soul is almost certainly going to be the best card here. I can burn a lot of stuff out. Now, yeah, it's definitely return soul. We don't have a lot of ammo, but it's fine. Glacial seal, cuddle hex. No, I'm going to skip these. Okay, let's go to the steel shop. I do desperately want to find health for my things. All right, plus 25. Fantastic. Give the guy some health here. Quick, no, reroll. We see a multi-strike. I will put that in the siren. It's good to have. I haven't seen an incant armor 2 yet, which is a bit of a bummer, I'll admit. The horde says a golden vault. I should take this? I guess actually playing bottom floor concussive coals probably provides more value, right? Yeah, let's do the concussive coals, actually. I'm going to go ahead and do infusions. Plus 30 is fantastic. Get that into an ice and pyre here. I guess I actually kind of want to put that in the Titan's Gratitude. Yeah. The ice and pyres will matter for divinity, but what else gets intrinsic here? It's a good question. I should probably put that into a return soul. It's going to be something I want to burn out. Yeah, fine. This infusion is 
silly, but it's going to be Train Steward into Offering Monument. Get that man up to 105 health. Cool. I go for this cave, see what we hit. Trap shoot, pulley claw. Trap shoot is for sure accurate. Definitely want that. Steel shop, nothing else I really want here. No, I don't think so. I think we save our money and move on. Okay, heaven seal is scary, but we have to take every trial, so deal with it. Okay. Now, the kickback is trap shoot here. We're going to go Echo Right, Offering Monument. We'll start with the Soul Siphon. I'm going to daze the guy doing 20-something damage in the back to me. Doesn't really matter. My goal is I'm basically going to completely fry these enemies. I guess we shoot him. I'm going to take a purple. And we're going to leave that sitting. We've cleared the floor. Okay. Play other offering monument here. We're going to kill one of them is the thing. Now, how am I going to kill one of them? Great question. Great question. There he is. He's dead. Good. Siren goes down. Cool. We're going to town. We're doing the thing. Push the buttons. All right. I would like very much to bring back a foregone power. I blast this guy in front. They die. Good. I'm going to foregone power middle for the collector. I'm going to continue playing cards for the incants here. I'm going to play this return soul. It doesn't do anything, but it draws. That's cool. Alright, we've played about as much as I reasonably can here. That's good. Great. Good turn. Okay. Health. We'll draw stuff. Fine. Now, the energy siphon here can do some big work. So, let's start by... Energy Siphon. Yeah, health is good. Energy Siphon. I will just shelter here, I think. That's fine. We go for health. Fine. Our goal is basically to blow a dude up. Right. So I think we want to kick him back, potentially. What do I have in here? I'm going to go ahead and return soul first on an echo infusion here. We'll burn that. Okay, so now we're pushing numbers here, so that's fantastic. I think if I wanted to, I'm going to kick him to the back, actually. Right? Kick him to the back and we get them both. Yeah, cool. All right. Fine, we did it. We're making good progress on stuff and things. Great work. And then this thing is doing absolutely crushing amounts of heavy lifting. I'm going to go ahead and energy soul siphon off floor here. I'm going to ice empire off floor. And then I'm going to burn this ice empire. Just get rid of it. And then we continue to ping. All right. I can see how this cleans up pretty quickly, right? Yeah, we shelter here, we draw into a bunch of stuff. I'm going to play out these train stewards, and then I'm going to ice empire and burn that ice empire, which should remove it from the pool. Now, there's really not much left in our deck at this point. So, we're just chilling, and we should crush this guy. Yeah, we, we absolutely crush this guy. Cool, you just go soul, energy siphon, energy siphon. We load it up, right? This guy is going to absolutely cease to exist here. And then 15, 20 damage with the spell. Good. Okay. Lightstone casing, we'll take that. I like that for sure. Broken Memories is actually quite fun here. I'm going to take that card. I like that. 
Drain? No. Ice Storm? Yes. Ice Storm? Yes. Magic Shop is cool. I think Steel Shop is better here. Yes, I think Steel Shop is better. I want more plus 25s. Absolutely. Yeah, all right. Load up the guy. Cool. Great. Battlestone, sure, you can have one of those two, champ. We're going to re-roll this. I get another multi-strike. All right, fair. I'll take it. I'm going to go We go hard on this turn. Spell chain here is... All right, that's going to go into Echo Infusion, I think. Yes. Purge. I'm going to purge one of these Ice Empires. I don't think I need this many. We'll do that. That's fine. The infusion here is just a train steward into uh, a train steward. The last infusion is the last train steward into that last offering monument, but this lets me remove that train steward now, right? Which improves our deck considerably. Now, as far as other purges here, what do we want to cut? Probably one of the ice storms. You have to understand, I'm not going to be able to upgrade them all. So having one that I can dump plus 30s into is fine. Having two is probably bad. This is a, not a great card otherwise. So we'll just burn that now. Fine. And I think we chill, right? We're happy about this. We've taken pack shards. I think we have a very strong line to win for Fell. Okay, fine. Now... I can improve this. I would still like, you know, more health and more other stuff. Okay. How am I approaching this? I'm going to go ahead and kick a card. I think... Is Echo Right correct? I, it might just be Offering Monument and then Nameless Siren and then don't play the Echo Right. I'm not actually sure about that. We'll see. I want to see about this. Just play cards out. Then we burn a card. And then we burn a card. But then we bring that card back. And then we draw that card. We eat the ping here. I get the other offering monument down. Good. We draw. We blast. I take health. I'm going to return soul on that big health here. We're going for a single big turn is the thing, right? This is kind of the core play here. Bring back this thing. This card, a random thing. We energy siphon here. I will push this hosting kin going to wait for it we energy siphon something I'm not going to be able to get the other thing but it does push out this guy which is good I'm going to go ahead and burn the trap shoot off floor so I get the spell chain copy here it's a pretty good turn right if you're thinking about this in terms of, like, what we actually get. Yeah, we come very close to infiniting here in kind of a shocking fashion. We do 500 and something damage here, which is wild. And now it's just my incants are doing truckloads. I need to just... Play incants a bunch. I want to clear mid floor if I can. Right? This is actually relevant. And then we drop this guy back down. And we go for further incants here. Alright. So you may ask why. It's because she has to ride back up with them. She's got that spell shield. We don't want her to have that spell shield. Let's etch upstairs. I think it's correct to do it. Not going to self-ping here, I don't think. 
I might. I'm going to shoot one of these guys, and I'm going to shoot her spell shield off. And then I think we're applying spell weakness and then nothing else here. Okay. Now, she comes upstairs. I can drop something off this floor because of the RNG we just hit, which is cool. I'm a fan of that. I just say goodbye. Which is good. I'm going to energy siphon here. Now, unfortunately, I do not appear to be able to connect Mr. 190 with her because of this guy in the front. Which is absolutely tragic. Yeah, man, that's absolutely tragic. We don't get this pre-relentless. I don't know what else I could have done in this case. There might have been a way through this. All right, this is a cool combat that I want to try to see if I can sneak that kill out on. It's just fun. So let's prioritize pulling this off. Now... I do think there is value on having Echo right on the floor. So, it's an interesting idea. I'm, I don't have to put him on the floor right away, I don't think. But I think we, I think you drop the Soul Siphon, then we can put him in, right? The thing is, is we're going to hit... Yeah, you see, the, the challenge here is we can actually theoretically drop him in here. He doesn't necessarily do much right now, but it's not terrible. Now, I could pop this down. Dealing with some of these guys downstairs might be the play, right? It might be the play. Unclear. Huh. All right, I'm going to pop another guy downstairs. We're going to continue to work up top. I'm drawing cards. We're pushing numbers here. This is the whole point of the exercise. Now, we have a much worse turn here because I've been focusing elsewhere. But I think we are still okay. Possibly. It's an interesting challenge, right? I'm going to go ahead and bring back a return soul here. I would like very much to work on the bottom floor guy in the back. We could get rid of him, actually, which is pretty cool. Ah, unfortunate discard. All right, now I think you go middle, and you're going to ride this up to the top. So this is a good example. I think she has to give armor to something on the floor. So if I drop middle guy... She does not come upstairs, so we, I mean, we're going to lose this trap shoot anyway, but let's just play out the cards the way we do. Give her that energy siphon. I desperately want her to lose that spell shield. Now we continue up top. All right, now I did burn this energy siphon, but remember our goal here is to connect the kill shot. So, our whole thing here is the kill shot. Okay. Okay. I need the kill shot. How do we do it? I need to draw cards. This will not get the kill. It's not good enough. So we ping once in front. Here's some health. Sure. We've drawn the kill shot. So I need to spend all of my energy getting past this front guy. Okay, here comes other guy. Get him in. Trap shoot him away. All right. I now need to simply draw the kill shot. Got it. Okay. That's, I mean, I knew it was there, right? I knew it was there. I just had to draw through. So, seven turn boss rush on Fell. Yep. Very cool. Extremely awesome. Wormkin Spike is a decent incant. 
It can be played at zero cost, which is cool. I like that. It's also an etch. I'm actually going to grab this card. I think it helps with the initial draw through. And now card draw would be nice. I've already taken the ember. It's fine. Yes, card draw, please. Thank you. Fantastic news. All right, we did a good job. Let's go to this magic shop, I think. Make some things cost zero does help here. Divine Horde says, Notice Stone is fantastic. We absolutely... Oh, but Kinstone Totem. Can I generate enough Ember here? Suddenly, Foregone Power is Ember positive. I think I get more value out of the Notice Stone, though, for kill shot purposes. That's a toughie, though. Dark Forge says, Shellsmith 2, of course. Because it's not like I get a second... Other thing, 20 consume. My last temple's coming up. All right, permafrost, no thank you. I'm going to put a minus one into something because it's good to do it. Making something free means I can just play it, which is very cool. So let's make this Titan's Gratitude free. Remember, this just means I, it doesn't cost me anything. We're going to burn the last Echo Break here. Good. I will re-roll this. Holdover. I can't afford the Holdover, and I'm not mad about it. It's okay, right? Minus one here. I want to put that into something. Make Ice Storm a free card. The only thing I don't like about Ice Storm is playing it on floor potentially burns Spell Shield or Spell Weakness. So let's actually put this minus one in Ice Empire. If I get upgrades, I'm putting them in Ice Empire, so let's 20 consume the Ice Storm here. Sure. That's decent. See what we hit on the cave? Nexus Spike. Huh. What's your Nexus Spike play? Echo Infusion. Echo Infusion is a pretty big burst, but that's expensive. Is it ever worth it to do this? Maybe I purge something here, make something free, which is kind of fun. I mean, I can have a pretty good... I'll tell you what, if I purge this Ice Storm here, actually, this is a pretty strong weaponized everything. I don't hate this card, but you must understand, this makes my Ring 7 very powerful. Which lets me play bottom floor safely, I think. So let's move on. Okay. All right. We get heavy. Yeah, heaven seal must be clicked. Okay. Now I think we get past this. What's the kick here? Nothing. Maybe. Let's put back that hosting kid for now. We will play bottom floor. It is the nature of what we do. A single energy siphon in the back will pop that. It's good. Second energy siphon here. You have to understand I would like very much to draw into our siren here. 205. We always get this kill. Okay. Well, we're not getting what we want. What's down here? I'm going to burn that Echo Infusion. That's okay. Our goal here is... Ugh, this train steward is still in. We'll just burn one Ice Storm here. Welp. Alright, we're going to kill that man. I'm going to go ahead and consume this card. I'll bring back a card, I suppose. Sure. Alright, that's about as much as we're doing. Can't believe Siren didn't show up, but it's fine. I'm going to play the train steward upstairs. Maybe it gets a collector. It's fine. Hey, look, it did it. Fantastic. All right, we should completely frag this, and I'm not concerned at all. You just go ahead and energy siphon in the front, and then we ice storm, and that guy's all dead. Great job. We just play for some incants here, I think. Right? It's not too bad. I'm going to return soul a broken memories. 
And then I'm going to return soul the return soul. Return soul the return soul. Return soul the foregone power. We foregone power here. We get to keep playing cards. You see, these Wormkin spikes are just free incants here, which are fine. And we're finally out, I think. True. We get the collector. Fantastic. I'm basically looking at trying to build... I tried to build up my Siren to a big level here. That was the whole plan. So... And I think we did a good job. Great. Hosting Kin pops in the back. Absolutely correct. We take health when we can get it. Good. Cool. Broken Memories is going to bring back... Wait for it. Echo Infusion. Which I'm going to immediately play. I will... Titan's Gratitude something. It's cool. It's good. I like it. I'm going to blast this other friend. Fine. Blast this other guy. Fine. Here's some health. Cool. Here's some more health. Very cool. And we're chilling, right? Absolutely chilling. Fantastic. All right. This is a pretty straightforward combat, I think. We're just killing everything, pretty much. Titan's Gratitude's doing some heavy lifting here. It's good. It's good. We finally get other Offering Monument to land down, which is fine. And then we just keep incanting because it's what the cool kids do. I'm just going to kill him here. It's fine. We're chilling. I'm chilling. Yeah. All good. Now, really not a lot of choice we can make here. I think we're going to you click the Echo Infusions and then I'm going to burn a Wormkin Spike because I guess so. Sure. Fine. We win this combat easily. Yeah. This is just a great example of they never stood a chance, pretty much. Yeah. You just trap shoot here and it's super over, right? And then we actually get the kill with Titan's Gratitude, so pretty good. Pretty solid floor, if I don't say so myself. Train Steward actually did some heavy lifting, which is great. Fantastic. I actually think Force Contamination could be really cool here, if I'm being honest with you because we could potentially use this as part of it's free yeah it's free and also potentially turns the siren into a kill machine here i'm gonna grab that now we need the purple cards to make it work urchin spines is fantastic we're snap clicking that those are just full sends we're chasing the dupe here yes we're chasing the dupe Money, give me like Siren Song, or not Siren Song, but what is it? Uh, Founding Seal, please. Forgotten Name is probably worth it. Yeah, plus 30 and 10 and Piercing is going into Ice Empire here. This is just kind of a disgusting play. Cool, big number. Final Infusion, Train Steward into Offering Monument. Cool, very cool. The dupe here is, wait for it, Ice and Pyre. Yep, it's a 15 shard dupe. It's a good spell, we'll take that. It's also free, which is fantastic. Third multi-strike for good measure is pretty fun. I like that, great. I'm gonna go ahead and spin this. A plus 25 is worth it. Yes, great news, okay. I think we chill on the rest of our money and we're good to go, right? Yes, I think so. 265 out of 100, I think we win this pretty solidly, very quickly. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Now, which floor does Seraph be on? Don't be bottom. I don't want to have to fish through your enemies. Cool. Mid floor is great. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get a turn one offering monument. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. So let's kick the return soul here. We're going to then play top floor. Fun. All right. Fun. I'm going to shoot one guy on middle. Cool. I will hold over the energy siphon. I think it's worth it. 
I'm going to shelter up top and soul siphon middle and chill. He comes upstairs and now we have now we cook off, right? Okay. Yes. They both have 115s. Cool. We're going to definitely play offering monument. 100%. We must. I'm going to pop the guy in front. That's the starter here. Okay. I'm going to soul siphon doesn't really matter to me. I don't care if I take this. Let's play what card do I want to bring back? There's nothing really I want to do, so let's go ahead and Soul Siphon here. It's fine. Get a lot of value. We're going to play the Force Contaminations here. Urchin Spines is a good card. We basically have the Pre-Relentless kill already, so we go Energy Siphon again, again, again. Kill him. Okay, fine. Pretty good. Um, we didn't get the turn one only because I didn't have... I maybe should have removed the Siren for score to guarantee the Offering Monument. That's actually hilarious. That's a hilarious thing that's a mistake on my point. Because if I don't draw a turn one Offering Monument, we actually falter in sort of a funny way. Okay. Here we have the Lad. We start the draws. It's cool. We continue to go. I return soul something here. I don't really need Shellsmith is the thing. This is a very weird circumstance, but it's true. I don't actually think I need Shellsmith at all in sort of a bizarro fashion. Is it actually better to self-blast here? Possibly. We're really sending it, aren't we? That's an, this is an interesting circumstance to be in. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I have a temporary broken memories loop. I don't want to do that, though. Yeah, the goal here is I actually want to draw into... Is this... How far down this deck is this card? Are we serious here? Okay, we drew into it. Alright, we get the kill on turn one. Great. Good grief. I was like, where is the card? Alright, we did it. And the Siren actually did matter there, so I'm not mad about it. We turn one the Divinity. That's pretty cool. So even without a an Offering Monument Infinite, which I do think is stronger, right? We can just Offering Monument Infinite this run into and put the... You put Nameless Siren into an Offering Monument. You hold over Spell Chain. Or just hold... Honestly, just hold over the... We didn't see Karuska, right? See, so wow, 87k is a really high score. What? Oh, never mind. Monster Trick. Good. What do you mean, number one? Hold up. I'm actually cracked? What? Wow. All right. We actually did it. That's going to... Someone's going to beat me for sure. 87K. I'll take my number one score. Hold up. Give me a second. I. All right. Number one. But really, I think... I think you could optimize this further if you... Wow. How did I get such a high score? That's unbelievable. Anyway, by basically going, you don't want to, sp without Karuska, you don't want to spell chain the Echo Infusion, right? That's an important detail because you run out of Ember too quickly. So, yeah, I think it's really, it's got to be this four turn on, the seven turn on Fell is pretty high scoring. That's a lot of points I picked up. And I also four turn Daedalus, which is kind of cool. So, like, we took some damage, right? Three damage taken. Like, I didn't walk out scot-free. But then I got nine turns on both Seraph and Divinity here, which are pretty powerful. I would have ten-turned Seraph if I had had a turn one Offering Monument. So, tr truly, I think we could have cleaned it up. That said, I don't think I actually get the turn one Divinity, maybe. 
maybe, without the Siren. The Siren's attacks did the last bit of damage there. So kind of an interesting circumstance. But regardless, I, I wanted to talk about cleaning this up in with the benefit of hindsight. So the benefit of hindsight tells me that we can easily infinite here by just removing a bunch of cards, having two copies of the Echo Infusions, connecting a Ring 1 Bounding Echoes with them, so they generate purples, so they basically replace their own purples, and then you have this Siren on the floor. Or what you do is you actually put the Siren into the Offering Monument, right? And then you give the Offering Monument two of these multi-strikes, and then you just slam Echo Infusion in him, you one-turn everything, right? Literally every boss gets one turned. Yeah, and then you make two of these things and you just switch who gets the echo infusions every time you play them. And that wins that. I mean, that that right there, that's a 10 turn on Seraph. That's a 10. That's a nine turn on Divinity at bottom floors. Every other boss. I mean, at at the speed at which you get this set up, that is a turn one on Fell as well. So, I mean, you can definitely push higher scores. I see it here. Now, the hard part is, of course, doing that without knowing what's coming up. So, fortunately, I actually think I'm kind of surprised that no one has already achieved that, right? No one has done that so far. So, pretty cool. I'll take my starting number one score. That feels pretty good to me. Yeah. Early in the day, kind of. And yeah, amazing. Really, the big payouts here is leaning in on this Ice Empire. This is the big gun, right? I just needed to play this. I have a ton of crap in here, but most of it is all free or doesn't matter. I'm basically using them as free incants, right? Think about all of these final plays. out. Everything was at zero ember. It didn't matter. So I was just sending it. Notice Stone doing some real heavy lifting on improving my damage because I'm consuming so much trash. But yeah, no, pretty good overall. I'm very pleased with this. The Energy Siphon doing a lot of heavy lifting. Now, in an ideal world, this Energy Siphon got a double stack instead, and then I could have made it free, but we didn't see the double stack early enough, and I was looking for health for my offering monuments. So you can only do so much, I suppose, right? You can really only do so much, but we managed to capitalize on it regardless, which feels pretty good. I'm happy about that. And yeah, the rest of this is just draw a billion cards, incant to infinity, and then blow up the boss with an ice empire and finish it with the nameless sirens. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Big fan. And that's pretty much it. That's a number one finish. Fantastic. We love to see it. So incredible work. Go team. I will let you go there. Heck yeah, I feel good about that. I'm surprised about it, but surprisingly feel good about it. Let's do it. All right, so hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks.